Hello everyone, my name is Mackenzie. I'm a person of transgender experience and in this video I'm going to talk about some of the mental changes that have occurred since I started hormone replacement therapy. I have a strong feeling I'm going to have to make more than one video on mental changes because there was kind of a lot to cover and I didn't want it to be too long. So I am going to start with a pretty heavy metaphor. I tend to use a lot of metaphors when I talk. Uh, almost like I don't know how to use my words properly. Almost like, you know, something I should be able to do with a communications degree. So close your eyes and you are going to imagine the inside of your mind like a giant house. So in this house is every aspect of you separated into different rooms. Each room is something different, whether it be your skills and abilities, your hobbies, your memories, everything. And you can freely step through any of the rooms as you please. That sounds great. You have complete access to you. Except one room, the biggest room in the house, is locked. And you don't have the key. As a matter of fact, your environment from a young age pressured you into purposely locking that door and throwing away the key. So you can't even access it if you wanted to. The door has a little sign on it that reads emotions. Since I started hormones, it's as though someone found my key and has helped me open that door. And it is exhilarating. It's as though I've been able to understand myself better than I ever could. Like a fog of confusion has lifted and everything has suddenly become more clear. Now, granted, a torrent of emotions that you're not normally exposed to can have its ups and downs. Everything is way more exciting. The highs are a lot higher and the lows are unfortunately a lot lower. But my ability to experience joy and happiness and all of these emotions have grown way beyond what I could have ever expected. It's almost like I, before all this happened, I just I didn't know what I didn't know. So I didn't realize the depth of these emotions. I had no idea that like even the most mundane tasks could have like an element of beauty in their routine. Happiness and all these other emotions have become more of a full body sensation than more of just like a chain of thought or, or like logical reasoning in my mind. Whether a moment is like sweet and endearing or if it is sad and depressing, I am way more apt to start tearing up. And when it hits, oh my gosh, it hits so hard. <laughs> Once the sobbing starts, it just, it, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop until I'm just like drained and exhausted. <laughs> but also like, I don't want it to stop. It just, crying feels so much more cathartic than it ever did before. Maybe it was because I was trying to conform to masculine stereotypes or the fact that I couldn't properly connect with my emotions, but I used to feel a deep sense of shame every time I had the urge to cry, so I suppressed it. But now it just, I, like, I have freed myself of that mental block. Now crying is a sense of relief and seeing other people get frustrated by not having that sense of relief, it just, oh, it makes me feel so bad. And like, I wanna hug them and tell them like, it's okay. Like, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I guess some level of empathy comes along with that. Didn't have that one in the notes. Now, the lower lows absolutely suck. But as a positive spin, being able to feel these emotions that would otherwise be considered negative is kind of in itself uplifting. It's weird. It is harder to pull myself out of a depressive slump, but at least I can identify these emotions a lot easier and pu it either put them into words or some other form of self-expression. Being able to recognize these emotions also helps find and establish empathetic relationships with other people's forms of self-expression as well. Sad music, movies, artwork, 
It is soothing to be sad sometimes. Neat! <laughs> sometimes that empathy can be a double-edged sword, so choose your close friends carefully. Alright, so I'm going to finish the way I started with another metaphor. Experiencing emotions is like riding a roller coaster. From the logical perspective of someone standing on solid ground watching, it seems dangerous, scary, and unnecessary with its high peaks, low dips, and how fast it goes from one to the other. And yeah, it can break down from time to time and you'll be stuck on a bad part of the ride, but you know it'll continue on eventually. That excitement is what makes life worth living. And I am so glad that I finally decided to take the ride. With that said, if you enjoyed this video or resonated with any part of it, please do like and comment down below. I do read all of the comments. And if you want to see anything else on my other social media platforms, check the link in the description. I am most active on Instagram, so please come see me there. Oh, and hot take, She-Hulk is one of the best Marvel shows. Fight me.